Okay, well, welcome everybody to um, No Problems, Only Possibilities, number two. And like each week we'll be looking at a different access tool and how to apply it to your life. Um, once you've left the class, you know, sort of like uh, maybe you've done an intro introduction class or foundation class, or maybe you just got back from the seven day event. And what, what we tend to do is we, we start to step into our perceiving and knowing our being and receiving after these classes. And we have this beautiful expanded space of who we do. And we go out into the world and everybody is there to push the buttons to try and pull you back in, control you and, and, and make this, this reality of uh, polarity of right and wrong, good and bad, the valuable product again. And it's all designed so that you will be small, controlled, and if you look at it from a, uh, a religious point of view, so that they can, they can take your 10%, they can take your money, um, you'll do what they say. And um, so that's sometimes not that much fun. So what do you do in these situations? Well, today we're looking at um, all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. And it is a great tool to get you out of, out of jail. And it's like a get out of jail free card. And so you can use it any time that you want. It, it's standard practice that when we do an intro class like this is say it 10 times in the morning and 10 times at night. And I have found that if I'm lying in bed, tossing and turning and my brain is going, my mind is like ticking over at hundred miles an hour, all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. That mantra, actually, it's, it's better than counting sheep because one, counting sheep is just counting sheep and you go back, it, you, it, it relaxes you for sure. And if it works, that's great. Um, I like counting in twos, two, four, eight, 16, you know, until I feel relaxed. And that's one, one strategy that I use because I'm, I'm autistic and when the vibration of this static reality started to impinge on my life, I'd either start to rock um, or I would do the two, four, six, eight. <laughs> Rocking looks a bit weird when you're on a bus or something you know, at school. Um, so uh, I started using that sort of thing. The, the other sorts of things that I use, like I've got a ring that spins round, so I spin that, or I've got a, a watch that flicks on and off. Now, now the the great thing uh, that that sort of stuff is great, and it and don't go to the wrongness of it. Yeah? If it works for you, that's good. If it relaxes you, because actually receiving is this space where you can start to relax. You can't. You can't receive when you're uptight. Um, you can't receive when you're in the anger. Yeah? You can't receive when you're in your head and trying to compute everything. You can't receive when you're highly emotional. You can't receive when you're in deep into those poor, poor, pitiful me feelings. It's all of those things are the barriers to receiving. So if you do have those tools and techniques, and they're not, access tools but they can be access tools like flicking the watch on and off it, because they get you to that that space of starting to relax so you can receive a different possibility now on top of that you can start to add all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory and it's a mantra it's not a positive affirmation a positive affirmation is saying that your shit doesn't stink it still does you're just you're just glossing it over with the smell of roses and um, shit stinks. That's it. Full stop. End of story. This reality stinks. Full stop. End of story. All of life get, comes to me with ease, joy and glory means that you can deal with all of life, the good, the bad, the ugly and the shitty smell of st stinky poo. Yeah. Um, so you start to receive everything with our, a point of view. Now, it's a really great, it, so, so, so you don't have to do it like 10 times in the morning, 10 times in the evening. Anytime when stuff starts to become, it starts to impinge on your reality. Um, now, the ease, joy and glory bit, this reality is dedicated and devoted um, to... Um, 
pain, suffering, and gory. Um, it, it, it does that with four things. It, it does it with judgments, agendas, um, inventions, and lies. Now, judgment, you know when there's a judgment around because there's a positive, there's a positive or negative charge attached to it. So a good <coughs> would be like, um, uh, that's a beautiful dress that you have on. And a bad judgment would be, oh, I don't like that dress. Both have a charge attached. One is positive, one is negative. That's the, uh, the difference between a judgment and awareness would be like, that's a beautiful dress and there's no charge attached to it. If you're just stating it as the awareness that you have. Um, negative judgments tend to be spotted a lot more easily than positive ones. And unfortunately, or fortunately, it, it's, actually, it's often the positive or the right judgments that stick us the most because we've already decided that that's right because it's right, it must be real and true. So if at any point that you're, you're noticing a lot of tension in your body or there's a lot of static around you or a lot of feelings or a lot of thoughts going on, you know, there's probably some sort of charge attached to there somewhere and you can't change the, ne the so-called negative judgment. You could ask that question, um, what have I made right about this? Or what, what positive judgment is holding this in place? Because it's those places that we often don't look at um, because, because we've decided somewhere along the line that getting it right or being positive is the thing that is akin to being aware. It's not. Awareness is awareness. Judgment is judgment, whether it is right or wrong. So, um, so that's the judgment component of it. Now, the agenda component of it is all these, everybody has an agenda. Have you noticed that you even have an agenda? Like you go, you go out shopping uh, to, for food, you've got an agenda. Now, if you, go, if you go shopping to your local supermarket for food and your agenda is to buy watermelon, it, it's like anything else out there will not be able to come into your reality. So you, you may well bump into people that could become your clients. If you're a bar practitioner, for instance, or if you're a hairdresser, you might bump into people that might come in come to be your clients but you're so focused on your agenda of getting your watermelon is that it cuts down your or limits your receiving wow now an invention is something that this is really cool this invention stuff um you know when you're um maybe some of you have heard of this tool is um who does it belong to and and you start, and when you say that for any thought, feeling, or emotion, um, you start to become aware of about 98% of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions aren't yours. You're picking them up. You're like a TV, and you're picking up all these TV shows of pain, suffering, gory, rightness, wrongness, good, bad, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, if you're using that tool, um, and you know that it's not yours, but you're still choosing it, or you're still running with it like i often do that it's sort of like oh my money flows are terrible you know like and then one of my um facilitator access friends will say is it yours and i go mm, no but it's still but i'm still choosing it yeah still choosing to go into that cesspool that's an invention that's where you're inventing something that's not real yeah and, and the last one is lies. And um, what news for you guys? Everybody lies. Any time that you go into a judgment, um, whether it's right or wrong, you're lying. Because this, it's not real and true. It's, it's, a, it's, a, a, it's an energy that has been captured to, be, to not move. And so you as an infinite being, it's that the energy is always moving. That's why we, in access, we say, follow the energy. You can't contain energy. Plenty of people try what happens. You get a nuclear disaster. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it doesn't, you can't work that. 
And that's what happens in your life. If you try to contract, contain the energy, you have a nuclear disaster in your life and everything blows up in your face. So you've got to, you've got to be willing to follow the energy. Um, and if you're, if you're lying to yourself, these are all the places that you've made highly significant that you don't want to let go of. So if something is not changing for you, it's like, where, where are you lying to yourself? So what secrets, agendas, um, sorry, what, what, what judgments, um, agendas and inventions and lies are you using um, to create what you are choosing <laughs> and everything that doesn't allow that to change can we destroy and uncreate it all. Yes. If they run, run pop, pop, corn, nine short boys and beyonds. Now, when you add all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory, what you're, what you're starting to do is you're starting to um, be aware of and in allowance of all those judgments, those agendas, those, inventions and those lies and you're asking for it to be ease joy and glory that's that's what access is about it's a, a, it's about receiving the ease and the joy and the glory and anything that doesn't match ease joy and glory is not you it's just not you so whenever you're in the poo you know that ain't you it's just it's just not have you noticed that i mean Maybe you've been maybe you've been in depression land for twenty years, and that's okay. But I bet you there was at least once in your life where you were being you. Was it depressing? Was it anger? Was it sadness? Was it upset? Was it intrigue? Or was it like, oh, look at that beautiful tree. Oh, being on this island and looking at that water is just magnificent. And um, so it's it's also it's also vital that you include your body in all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory, and include all of that. Do you ever see nature like thinking and feeling and emoting and you know at war with it with itself? No. If you see a, a tiger take down a gazelle. It's not done from, I'm going to get you, you fucker. It's done from, okay, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat it. That's it. And anything else, it, anything else on top of that, it, we've, we've humanized it. Yeah, I think it's called anthropomorphication or something where, and you see it on cartoons, you know, like the lion king, king and, and we give the lion, um, the, the thoughts and feelings of, of, uh, of humans. And um, so how much have you brought the thoughts and feelings of humans and been anthem anthropomorphized? I'm not sure if that's the correct word to, to thinking and feeling and being human. And it's the same with our financial realities. I don't know if you were sticking your tongue out at me, but that's, that was cool. <laughs> um, uh, I know you weren't, I'm just joking. Okay. So, so how, how, how many of the thoughts and feelings around your finances and your money flows are you taking on because that is the human point of view? It's the human point of view that you have to work hard for your money, that you can, it can't just magically show up in your reality. Um, the, the whole thing with the, 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 the judgments, the agendas, the inventions and the lies, and the, let's add secrets in there and then you've got, you've got jails, yeah? Um, is so it, it keeps you locked into this human reality and that and for you guys it's no fun it's not it's not fun being human and a human is someone that doesn't like change it because it's because I, I, it's not fun being a cow if you're a horse if you're functioning like a, a cow when actually you're a horse and you like to jump around in the field you know, it would get rather dull and boring for you after a while. So let's, uh, let's practice this now. Let's put yourself on mute. Otherwise, it's just going to make a horrible, dismal sound. Um, and let's all practice that now. Let's do that 10 times. 
bring up um, an energy that's coming up in your life at the moment, something that's not changing. It could be something to do with your money flows or a relationship or, you know, maybe it's a tax issue, whatever it is. Oh, my God, there's so many. Mm. Just pick one. <laughs> okay. And then let's bring and repeat after me. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. How do you feel now? Better, sane, or worse? If you're feeling worse, it's working. It's bringing up all of these judgments, agendas, inventions, lies, and secrets that keep on going, yeah? And if, if nothing is changing, keep on going. It will. And if, you're, and if it is changing, that's great because what it's starting to bring to you is that uh, ease, joy, and glory part of it. And glory is this exuberant expression of abundance. Uh, and so... And so every time that we say that, we're actually um, uh, um, acknowledging and acknowledgerizing the abundance of this universe. So it works really, really well with regards to, to money and your financial reality. Now, can I ask a quick question? Yeah, Who's that, Jennifer? Yeah. Yep. So, um, I've been spending a lot of time with my parents lately just because of that election thing going on. And I've realized how much I've taken on their jails and I know it's choice um, that I can choose beyond it, but like, is there something else there or is it biomimetic mimicry or something else? Like, what is that? Well, what, what is that? Well, I'm, I'm not going to go too much into, but because this is not a class. Um, oh. This is, well, it is, but I want to keep it really focused on just one thing. And I've already brought in jails. Yeah. Okay. So what, what, what jails are you using to create the, what, what is it that you said that you're going through? I, I've t I'm taking on other people's jails. Yeah. So what jails are you using to create the jails you are choosing? And everything that is, will you now destroy and uncreate it all? Yeah. With their right, run, pop, pop, or nice shot, boys and meons. And, you know, so what, for what reason would you want to take on other people's jails? Why? You're just going from one jail cell to the next jail cell. What, what, what's fun about that? <laughs> oh, trying to take it on so that I can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that is. Can we now just, do they want fixing? No. No, superior bitch. Everything that is, <laughs> you know, just go and uncreate it all. Yeah. Like, pop up on I shop boys and meals. It's like most people don't, most people like their jail. Have you noticed? It's called their houses. No. Um, they like their jail. They've got their pictures up on the jail. They, it's, they enjoy scoring. You know, and then putting the score through, yes, I've now spent 20 years in the jail. I, I've even got it up on my calendar there. Um, I've got a nice big flat screen TV in there. I've got my two weeks of get out of jail card in Fiji every year. You know, I've got my superannuation. Everything is sweet. And then when I, when I come to the end of my life, I can live for three or four years without any financial problems and then I'll and then when I haven't got any more money I'll die you know like they've got the answer so where have you made your jail the answer and everything that is can we now destroy and uncreate it all yes good and bad right wrong pop pop or nice short boys and meals. I see it all the time with people with debt and people that keep on putting stuff on credit card over and over and over again Many of them have already decided that they're going to leave the planet. So that they, they think that by going further and further into debt, it doesn't matter because their, their back door is I'm going to die soon anyway. 
and and so they never take control of their financial reality and when it comes to the future and they're not dead they go oh fuck now i'm forty thousand fifty thousand sixty thousand dollars in debt and i can't pay my rates and i can't pay my mortgage and um and that doesn't work you've got to you've got to be willing to step into what is and deal with what is in front of you and, and not lie to yourself um, because that creates a jail. You know, if you've got a tax bill, deal with it, you know, and it, I, I can't put it any clearer, clearer than that. Cause you can, you can keep on clearing it, but if you ain't going to choose it, if you ain't going to choose, I'm dealing with this today then you ain't, and I know people, including myself, that will go, oh, is today the day to deal with that tax thing? Look, if it's niggling at you, fucking deal with it. And it's, I, had a, um, I had a tax thing two days ago and I was at the airport and I went, oh, I'll wait, I'll wait till I get to New Zealand and, you know, I'll, I'll have time, I'll have a couple of days off and then i deal with it. And I'm just like this. Uh, no, just ring them now, get the information, get the awareness. And as soon as I did that, all of that angst left my reality. Now, if you are in debt, ring the people that you're in debt to and say, I haven't got the money. Can we work something out? Because 99% of people are going to be able to work something out. They want their money. So they're, they're, they're not going to feed you to the walls. Um, None of us live in Dubai, so that's cool. You're not going to go to debtor's pr prison. Um, you're not going to go to jail. You're already putting yourself in jail, for fuck's sake. Oh, I promised I wouldn't swear on this. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but it sounds very sexy. If you'd like to mute yourself, that would be really cool. So um, I do have a class coming up. It's called Entities and Money, and we'll be looking up more and more and more about it's, 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 it. I'd like to actually call the class Entities and Money, uh, creating your financial future and getting everything that you want. That would be the whole um, class title, but it's too long. So I've just kept it short as Entities and Money. And um, one of the things is, um, it's really all about receiving, 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 receiving. So we'll be doing lots of in there about receiving. Now, whether you're coming on to that class or not is, is irrelevant. But if you take that tool, all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. And remember, glory is the exuberant expression of abundance. It's going to start to unlock all of those places where you've created jails for yourself. Um, and you'll be starting to bring the light of awareness to all of those judgments, those agendas, those inventions and those lies and those secrets that you've been keeping. That's uh, Jennifer, when the choice comes in, that's when you, cho that's when you choose, this is changing no matter what it takes. I'm demanding for this to change. And until you do that, keep on with the clearings and keep on with the tools because it will, it will keep, bringing awareness to all of those places until the, until you get to the point where you go, okay, I'm really, I'm really willing to have a look at this lie I've been telling myself. Yeah. So in between now and, and, and then or, or over the next couple of weeks, if you're coming on the call, definitely do this every day. Just ask what is my financial reality? And, um, by asking that question, you're going to start to see what, what your financial reality is. And each person's financial reality is unique. Like each person's um, ease, joy and glory is unique. Yeah. It's like some people, like my bookkeeper, Dana, for instance, she loves using Excel spreadsheets and she loves uh, facts and figures given to me and I just pulling my hair out, you know, um, can I do it? Yeah. Do I like doing it? No, cause it's not, it's not joyful for me. So f for me, um, I have to employ somebody to do that for me. 
and I, I, I'll employ somebody that does it from that because they have joy with it because that's what I want to create as my life, ease, joy, and glory. I'm not going to go to a book count, a, a bookkeeper that doesn't like keeping books because what that's going to create in my reality is not ease, joy, and glory. I'll have to deal with them. And that's not fun. So I'd sooner pay extra and find somebody that loves doing what they do. And then I start, can you start to see how giving, how finding people that love what they do and then you employ, employing them, whether it's, whether it's a lover, you know, you don't want somebody that is, pain suffering and gory yeah sure stuff comes up for them i'm not talking about that but you don't want somebody that is dedicated to a life of pain suffering and gory because that isn't going to bring you ease joy and glory so you have to look for somebody you have to employ employ quote unquote a lover that is going to be fun because then when stuff does come up they're willing to look at the look at doing it in a different way does that make sense? Oh my God, this class is just amazing. I'm going to have to stop there because otherwise it's like, I'm just going to give all my tools away and nobody will pay me. And fuck that. How does it get any better than that? Oh, I swore again. What else is possible? But, but we've got two minutes. Any other questions um, that you might like to ask <coughs> before we go? Yes. Yeah. I have a question, Liam. You just... Um said to to choose to work or to to be with people who are from the he's doing glory but i have the point of view that in this reality and around me i just can't see heavy people except in access classes and just a few people and um well what question can i ask to truth is that to, true or is that a lie of magnitude That uh, so so few people are. So sorry. What is your question? Yeah, so few people out there are willing to choose ease, joy, and glory. Is that true, or is that a lie that you're telling yourself, so that you can prove your point of view that there's so few people out there that are ease, joy, and glory? <laughs> Thank you. It's a lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those lies that. Um, or, because what, 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 it's one of, blah, 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 um, there's so much stuff on that, you know, like there's a whole class in that, just on that alone. Um, because if you start to use all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory, you start to be that beacon and all of those human ways around you, and there's 47% of the population on planet Earth are humanoids they will be attracted to your beacon of light, of joy, of ease and glory. That's what they're looking for. So they start to, they start to be, they start to come to you. It's like the secret and law of attraction, but it's not. It's about <laughs> knowing, being and receiving. And um, that, well, thank you so much for that question because that's why Gary, uh, on the front cover of any access manual, there are there are two tools built in there, access consciousness, empowering people to know that they know, which we talked about last week. And if you haven't, get the recording. And then the other one is all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. And if you use that every day, what you start to do is you start to activate all those, that 47% of the population of the planet starts to become energetically aware because you're not functioning from this reality of jail. You're functioning outside of it and they go, oh my God, I'm in a jail, and but I want to be out there. And they'll stick their head through the bars and they'll say, hi, <laughs> God, what are you doing? Like, can you help me out through these bars? I'm really good <laughs> at bookkeeping. <laughs> That's where I'm joyful. You know, and, you know, their relationships might suck, but you're, you can employ them for the, for the part that where they are already naturally joyful. Yeah, and that's why that 
that's why that all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory is printed on everything that access does. Because every time that it is read, every time that it is said, um, every time that it is written, every time that a humanoid sees that or, or perceives that energy, it reminds them, I am not human. I have just been anthropomorphizing myself as being human. I have been taking on the human qualities of thoughts and feelings, which are the lower vibration of a perceiving, knowing, being, and receiving. Humans do not receive, they do sex and no sex. Yeah? Humanoids like receiving. Yeah? It's such a different reality. And when you start using that tool, all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory, you are activating every human, around, sorry, humanoid around you and inviting them to that possibility. That's, that's the cool thing. If you've been to access classes and you're willing to use that tool, that's why Dane about three months ago, it, it was a tool that was put in, into the too easy basket. Um, uh, uh, do you like that? I like that. <laughs> cool. Most people have a too hard basket, but actually what people do is they have a too easy basket and anything that is too easy, they throw in there because in this reality, too easy is not, is not valuable. So we keep on pulling in what's too hard. Oh, oh there's my too hard basket. Let me pull that stuff out of there because that's what will keep you in, your, in the jail rather than going, oh, what have I made too easy and thrown away in my too easy basket? Let me pull that out. Ah, all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. That's one of the old boring tools that actually work and make your life easy. So let's throw it away. Pull it back into your life. Um, and just by, you know, that question that you asked there, which was a great question because it allowed me to get to that place where I, I actually wanted to talk about why we have that as a tool and because it activates every humanoid around you yeah so when you walk into work let's say you're a secretary and you work you work in a big big tax law office type thing and there's a hundred people in there 47 of those people in there are the ones that are gonna be joyful in some area of their life yeah <laughs> uh, when you walk in going all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory in a loop in your head it's it's like people will then start talking to you and they'll start talking to you in a, a totally different way and you'll start to find out what is ease joy and glory for them so you want to ask that question what is ease joy and glory for this humanoid and you'll know a humanoid because they'll be judging the fuck out of themselves um, what is ease, joy, and glory for them? And what would it take to talk about that with them? Wow. Yeah. So by asking that question, because you get a lot of humanoids and they tell you, you know, everything sucks. So, you know, like in your head going, okay, so what part of your universe do you have ease, joy, and glory with? You might even say that to them. Well, what part of your life do you find fun? And they'll go, I, I love collecting butterflies. Yeah. And you'll see <laughs> the whole universe start opening up and then, and then you can talk to them about butterflies. You might not know anything about butterflies, but because it's, because they're talking from that space of ease, joy and glory and your, your, your ease, joy and glory is activated. And it's so much easier to listen to, 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 to someone to talk about, butterflies when it's a joy for them rather than a hobby that they've decided is true and correct for them that's the human point of view and then you just get bored to hell with that because there's no <laughs> glory in it wow does, does that make sense this has yes. been a really great call because um i was in resistance to doing this um because i do do a lot of free stuff but what what it has done for me is it's given me a, that just that tool there, you know, like I, what, what is joyful for this person? And then once you find that out, that's where you can start to create the energetic connection 
and your and and so your life expands out like for me um, i'm in new zealand and i have a friend here that loves bike riding um, downhill mountain biking and and so that is a, a place where they had there's such intensity of ease and joy in their life um and then you know so when i ride with them it it activates all that ease, joy, and glory. And then when I come to doing the tax, which is not so much fun for me, um, it's sort of like I'm ready for it now because I'm in that space of ease, joy, and glory, not in that space of, oh, I've got to do the tax. It's sort of like, oh, ease, joy, and glory. How can I bring that to my tax now? Cool. Yeah. And thank you. Easy. Well, thank you. I don't know your name, sorry. Marie-Laure. Marino. Marie-Laure. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> it's French to name, it's normal. <laughs> and where are you from? I am in Paris. Ah, oh, cool. So, Curing the Incurable, the book is at the publishers as we speak. How does it get any better than that? So it's oh, great. French, which is an old, old access book that I wrote 24,000 trillion years ago. Hmm, uh, great. Cool. Well, I'd like to thank you all for coming along. And um, this has been amazing for me. Like if you, um, once you got the link, share it with people, you know, because this is especially the, uh, that, well, the whole thing about ease, joy and glory is if people really start to get that and start to use it, then you'll start to pull in those other humanoids that are joyful, and that's how you, that's, and it's so much fun. You're, I mean, you're all quote unquote sluts. And so it's so much nicer to have a lot of ease, joy and glory people around you rather than just, you know, just your, your business partner or your, or your wife or your husband. Um, and that way you can start to expand your energy across the entire globe. <laughs> Okay, guys, thanks for having me. And um, we'll do something next week too. Ciao. Thanks, Ciao. Leo. Bye.